It may feel to you like your tower garden or your hydroponic garden is a target for bugs, and that's because it is. The reason for that is because plants grow so well in these gardens that bugs can smell them from a mile away and they flock to these plants to eat and lay eggs. Hey, one easy solution to this problem is just stop being so good at growing stuff, guys. You stop caring about your plants and maybe the bugs will too. No, seriously, this video is actually meant to take you in the complete opposite direction and have you growing even better harvests. Uh, in fact, check out all the free guides I have at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. They're listed up in the description box below. I have a bunch of tower garden stuff that I have no doubt could help you and save you time and money. We love our tower gardens because they grow our produce so well and the bugs do too. To explain why and how we can determine them, let's get into some sciencey stuff here. All plants create terpenes. Terpenes are what people extract for essential oils. So it really is like the concentrated essence of the plant. Um, and when the plants transpire, or when they release oxygen through the stomata in the bottom of the leaf, when they do that process, which is in essence your plant breathing through your leaf, they're also releasing bits of their terpenes into the air. And the healthier the plant, the smellier it is. Now, with bugs, they can literally smell a healthy plant a mile away. These guys are really just trying to take care of their family and look for a healthy place to munch out and lay their eggs so their, their kids have a good start at life. I mean, it's really, it's pretty cute when you think about it. Aww. First, let's talk about the hydroponic gardener's most wanted. The number one plant killer, white fly, AKA, Day. Okay, so the white fly, that's what I see the most when I'm browsing through comments and forums on hydroponic gardens and tower gardens. The reason for this is because if you look on the internet for solutions to insects or white flies, people tell you to spray stuff on your leaves. You'll find the number one thing when you Google this is spray soapy water on your leaves. Well, that doesn't work for white flies. White flies like to thrive under on the bottom side of the leaf and that's where they lay all their eggs. So if you spray the top of your leaf with something, soapy water, then you're not gonna do anything at all except potentially harm your leaf. I'm the kind of person who traps insects in a jar and lets them out. Well, honestly, my wife traps insects in a jar and lets them out. Here's a cane spider that she got just last week and captured in my cracky pickle jar. She's pretty badass, I know, it's no big deal. If she's not around, I'll just like throw shoes and books at, at the spider. Let's move along. It's not their fault that our produce is so tasty and so delicious and has such ripe terpenes that are flying all over the air and inviting them there. So I think it's much better to try to present terpenes to the air that deter these insects and these bugs, particularly white flies. It's just like there are terpenes that attract these insects. Those terpenes are particularly in plants that produce a fruit. There are also terpenes that deter them. Terpenes that are found in herbs in the mint family. And luckily there are a lot of these. So you have all the mints, all the basils, thyme, oregano, lavender. All of our favorites are likely herbs in the mint family. And these relief release more offensive aromas to white flies. They don't want to come anywhere near these plants. So I like to plant these plants. I'll plant like a basil plant and a mint plant and then a, a tomato plant right in between. And then a, a cucumber plant on the other side and then maybe like a, a rosemary on the other side of that. So if you just plant these in between and allow them to grow up and around where the typical infection area would be, that's a really good way to deter white flies and a lot of other insects from, from landing on your fruiting plants and getting at those leaves. Now the best part with this method is the plants that all these white flies and other insects really hate are ones that we really love. All of my favorites, especially for like Italian food, and we eat a lot of Italian food. Growing these plants is certainly not something you wouldn't want to do in your garden anyway. It's kind of a win-win slash the bug doesn't win at all. No, but okay, so it's a win for you. It's a win-win because we get to eat the food that we like and we get to keep the bugs out, but the bugs do not win at all. There's no real win for the bugs. I don't know if I use that phrase right. All right, so that's the first option and a great way that we can get these terpenes in the air. But another way that we can get these terpenes in the air and deter the insects, let me get into some more sciencey stuff. So this, is an oil diffuser. The way it works is it uses a ceramic plate that vibrates at an ultrasonic frequency. Think your toothbrush 
turned up to 11. These go to 11. And what that ultrasonic vibration does is it causes the water molecules to separate at the top of the, at the, top of the water. And when water molecules separate, they become vapor or fog. A lot of people are surprised to feel the fog that comes out of one of these. One of the, that's the rainbow effects. That comes out of one of these is not hot. Now, what do you do if you already have white flies? You guys aren't gonna like this. If you see white flies on your plant, is take that plant, isolate it into the compost bin. So just get rid of it, get rid of that plant. You don't want that plant anywhere near your other plants because if you see white flies, there's a really good chance they've already laid their eggs on your plants. The same reason that they came to your garden in the first place to munch out on your plants is also why they're gonna lay their eggs there. All right, so let's recap. Some great ways we can deter insects from our garden because they're gonna come if we're doing a good job, which I have no doubt that you are, then they're gonna come and they're gonna wanna feast at our gardens. Some great ways that we can deter them naturally are by releasing terpenes into the air that deter them, right? So we can grow any herb in the mint family around our garden, around plants that fruit, because plants that fruit attract white flies and, and a lot of other insects like to feast on their more starch heavy leaves. Then another way that we can get those terpenes in the air is with a household incense diffuser. This just puts, literally puts the terpenes directly into the air through the essential oil that's been extracted through the terpenes. Now, if you already have an infestation of white flies, do not start a power struggle with them. You will lose, I promise. We're talking about some tenacious parents who laid like 400 eggs on your plant. You do not want to mess with them. You're going to lose. Just remove the plant and start over again. This is hydroponics. They grow pretty quickly, especially in your tower garden. So I hope this has been really helpful. Make sure you check out the guides down below at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. I have tons of stuff on tower garden maintenance and how to take care of and optimize your tower garden. Let me know if this has been helpful and if you have any other questions in the comments below and let's grow together.